Hey, my name is Bill, and uh, I took this uh, this wave runner and converted it from gas to electric. With this uh, Wave Runner, we've uh, completely redid it. We've painted it, we've put stripes on it, and we've um, added a few uh, decals here for a uh, battery powered Wave Runner, as you can see. And then we have in the back here, we have it where it says it's an 80 pound thrust, 24 volt trolling motor. We've taken a trolling motor, 24 volt DC trolling motor and made it and converted it to the inside of this wave runner. Now if you look at the wave runner we're going to pull the seat off inside the wave runner you'll see that the whole drive unit is underneath this box here. Now I'm going to open the inside. As you pick it up, put the latch on, and then you can see on the inside we have two batteries here, two 12 volt batteries, and these 12 volt batteries are hooked up with positive and negative to each battery, which will cause the terminals, the opposite terminals, to be your positive and negative going to your motor, which gives you 24 volt. Now we also have a control box, which all of the controls from the inside of the trolling motor has been mounted into this box on the side here, as you can see. Now what we've done is we have taken a 24 volt DC trolling motor, which you can see down in here, and we've chopped off the top of it and we've pulled the wires out of the motor itself and ran it into this control box. In this control box is everything that is from the foot pedal of the trolling motor. Now if you look down here you can see our drive unit. What we've done here is we've taken and we've put a Lovejoy connection here and attached that to the motor. On the other end, I've taken a 3 8 drive extension and a 9 16 socket. And on the inside of the socket is a hex which runs the motor. And as you can see, it actually pulls and turns the outdrive shaft of the SeaDoo. In order to do this, we've had to not only make some clamps to hold the motor, but also a flat plate which is mounted to the existing motor mounts. If you see here, we have a switch, and on this switch, we'll show you in a few minutes, on the switch, it's actually a key switch. You've got two wires. You've got the yellow and the green wire. There actually is another wire that would go on a switch, which would be a constant switch, but that, may, that would make it so it would run constant and not pulsating. We also have the wires coming out of the box, which goes directly to the motor. The other two red wires, red and black wires, one goes to, goes to the negative pole of one battery, and the other one goes to the positive. But it also runs through a switch which, which we use here, and we'll show you that in a few minutes. But that switch is a 60 amp breaker, which allows the thing to, to break if there's a problem with the current. So as you can see, here is your 60 amp breaker, which is required 
by the state in order to run electrical on any watercraft. And we have the two wires that come out. One is the positive and one is the negative. And the positive wire runs to the battery and to the switch. And then from the switch or the fuse, we have a red wire that goes into the box which runs everything else. In the very top of this box, we have a wire that runs up to the handle, which is what we use in order to pulsate our watercraft. If you look on the side, you will see two switches. One of the switches is a keyed switch, which turns on the watercraft, turns it on, turns it off, and the other one is to decrease the speed of the motor, which we'll show you in just a few minutes. All right, we're gonna show you how this operates. We turn on the key, we push the button on the steering wheel, run the motor at a slower speed. Okay, here we are. We have the key on and we're pressing the button on the handlebars. That's how we did it. Pretty simple. This should run about about as fast as a trolling motor. You're looking at probably 10 to maybe 15 miles an hour at the most. This was actually built for a guy that um, is an older fellow that wanted to be able to get out on the lake and needed something that he could handle himself that wasn't too powerful. If you look at the handlebars, you will see a light This shows how, how much battery is left when the motor is running and then it shuts off when you let your hand off the button. When you first put your hand on the button, you will see how much battery you have by the red, yellow, and green lights. And that's pretty much it. We are going to put a, um, uh, two chargers on there. If you run one charger to the one battery, you will get your, uh, for your 12 volt charge and one charger to the other battery, you will get the other one to charge. And it still has the capabilities of 12 volt system running from each battery. You only get the 24 volt system when you run both batteries together. But we are going to use this gas, where the gas was put in, we're gonna put in a electric cord that you just pull electric cord out. And when you pull electric cord out, you can plug the cord in and the chargers will charge the battery automatically. And that is our electric wave runner converted from gas to electric.